All right, welcome everybody. Today's video, we are over here in Cha Chang Sao. We're about an hour, hour and a half or so out of uh, Bangkok. And I came over here today to check out the uh, Ban Mai 100 Years Market. And it's just right over here on the Bang Prakang River. And we're gonna walk around. It's uh, just kind of a local market. It's got some old houses and it, it should be a lot of fun to check out. So uh, let's see what we see. All right, so here's what it looks like when you first come in. They built this awning over it to uh, keep the weather off, but it's just these old uh, wooden style houses. And it's uh, not a big market. It's probably about maybe 300 meters long or so. And it just kind of winds along the, uh, the river. And it's an old Chinese community that settled over here on the, uh, the riverside. All right, so here what they're doing is they're burning paper and this is to uh, get money to their ancestors, the dead ancestors. This is a thing that they do for Chinese New Year. You see the little girl here, she's dressed up. Hello. It's Chinese New Year right now, so you have everybody that's dressed up in the Chinese costumes or the Chinese outfits. And uh, they'll be wearing the red, have their hair up in the little, uh, little tuban things. And you can see how the, uh, the houses are built here. Now this is a local market. It's not like a real touristy thing. There are a few tourists that will get over here, but most of it is uh, just the locals that come over here and shop. So they'll come over and walk along the, uh, the river and buy this food, eat lunch. They have little restaurants, uh, stuff like that. You can see over here you can sit and uh, have some noodles and get some uh, of the canone bobbin. This is the little coconut pancakes. You can see how she's making it up. So you can get one of the little containers here for 35 baht or three for 100. And then that's the little batter. So it has the, the young coconut in it. It's quite nice. And these are like a little uh, canome croat type thing. This is like the, uh, I believe it's like the Singapore style of the canome croat. And over here he has a uh, coffee shop. So you can get some coffee in there for 100 baht. And you can sit, it's just right on the, uh, the river. Then they got a picture of King Rama V, King Chula Longhorn on the wall. And they painted some stuff here. And then they have just like a little pop-up restaurant. You can see they're cooking right over there. And then you can get some, uh, some of the food and just sit, sit right here on the tables. It's like gapao, that type of stuff. And some, uh, some of the fresh fruit. And you can just see how it kind of winds like right down here. It's not super busy. This is a Saturday morning. This market is open on a Saturday and Sunday and holidays. And it opens up at like eight o'clock in the morning and it closes at about five. And like most of these things, if there's no customers, people just close up and they'll go home or uh, they'll leave or whatever. So uh, on a busy day, you can uh, get over here and enjoy it. A couple more little restaurants and stuff. Let's take a look at the river if we can. Looks like this little pier runs out to it. Oh, this is kind of a cool little restaurant here. So here's the, uh, here's the menu if you can decipher that. Hello, Swati Kap. And then they have the tables out over here. Yeah, it's a little flooded, but it's not too bad. All right, so here we are. This is actually a, kind of a cool little place here be a nice way to have some lunch. And this is the uh, Bang Prakang River right here. You can just see this is a Cha Cheng Sao area and the market just kind of runs right along the riverbank. And it's got the old teak style houses and they were built, burning some paper here, same as uh, back there earlier in the market. And then they have the other restaurant part here. All right, so let's go back into the market and let's see what we see. And here we go, back into the main part of the market. She's over here cutting up some of the, uh, the, the farang. And then they got the sam o, the pamelo, all of that. Sam o aloy. Oh, this is my chop. Farang. 
อันนี้ฝรั่งฝรั่งฝรั่งกินฝรั่งได้ไหมเดอะแมงโก้เดอะแมงโก้อันนี้มะขามอ่าฮะ Yeah, this is the tamarind here. This is a, I don't like this at all. This is a, what that is. Yeah, was, she's laughing because uh, that that fruit's called the farang, and they also call a uh, a foreigner a farang. And she was laughing. I pointed at myself. So here's the little Chinese shrine right here in the middle of this market, and then they have a couple little restaurants, but they're closed up right now. You can see here, some of the kids are all dressed up in the uh, little Chinese costumes for Chinese New Year. And we're making some more snacks over here. It's like some little waffles, that type of stuff. All right, so here, this lady makes some of this. It's like a uh, little coffee and other juices and stuff. So you can get a little cup of it for uh, 25 baht. And then she has the coconut milk, and then she has some coconut and some rice, and some other little snacks here. So you can get some of these for like 20 baht. And then it's all the stuff that, like the herbs that are just uh, sun-dried. And then uh, over here has some of the like little teakwood combs and spoons, and there's some slingshots. If you live uh, if you live where there's a bunch of monkeys, the uh, the Thais love to have those little slingshots. They shoot them at the uh, the monkeys. And we got some shirts for 169 baht. Then they have this little bridge right over the river, and it just goes back up in there. You can see, you got a guy getting ready to go do something. And then they have some more restaurants here. And then a place to, uh, they were doing some dancing earlier. So it's hard to say what they're, uh, what they're about. They have like a little community center right here in the middle of the market. It's kind of cool. You could go up there and eat, uh, eat lunch at the uh, Ban Mai Stories Home Cafe on the second story. Yeah, this is a nice little market. This is kind of a local market. It's not like a real touristy thing. The prices seem to be pretty reasonable. Uh, it's, you're not paying like the expensive tourist prices. I saw like uh, two tourists a little bit ago, but they're the only tourists I've seen here so far. And this, this part of the market here, this is, uh, so you get their houses here and they will bring stuff out and sell it, but they're uh, mostly closed, I think, for uh, Chinese New Year. Everybody's doing stuff with their families. It's a big time of, uh, of the year, especially for these Chinese communities. They wake up early and they do some stuff to uh, like burn in the paper and they have food and all of that. So here we get some little snacks. They look like they're 40 baht for a little container of it. And corn and vegetables. You want some fish on a stick, it's right there. And then this is that like chili paste stuff. And then the Brussels sprouts and peanuts that you're just selling right here. And this little store here, just built on the front of their house. They have all the little wooden knickknacks and honey and some of the, uh, like the jasmine rice and various things for sale. Sorry, cop. And some of the little snacks. I think these are like the little plums. And you just walk along, it's got the Concrete mixed with the wood. Yeah, this is a fun little place. It's not overcrowded. The places like this kind of have a tendency to get to where they're just jammed up and you can't really walk around and enjoy it. But this one's quiet enough that uh, you can come over here and kind of shop at your leisure and walk around. Oh, there's a couple tourists. And over here, these ladies are selling some of the fish. So what the Thais will do is they'll buy these fish and then they'll release them into the canal to make some merit. And you even have like some of the eels. And then over here they had a big turtle. You can see him hanging out. So you can make some merit by, uh, by releasing these out into the canal. So you can see a wooden style house and then the market keeps going up in there. And some people set up over here. And another little Chinese shrine. Let's pop in here right quick and just take a look. That's kind of a cool looking little Chinese shrine. You can see the lanterns and the Chinese writing. You see these in a lot of these places like this. They'll have a little shrine. And the, there's quite an interesting history to some of these. Some of these, they'll take these little, like the main Buddha, and they'll take it out, you know, certain times, they'll take it out into uh, 
like the canal and river and stuff like that. It's hard to say what they do here. I'm sure they have some uh, customs that they do. You can see they leave the food. You get the dragon fruit and oranges and pomegranates and grapes and stuff like that. Yeah, this is kind of cool looking. And it's got so much smoke in here, it's hard to, it's hard to even breathe from all the incense. All right, and just right over here past the shrine, we got some more of the market. I think this is about the last leg of it. It's, uh, it's not overly huge. Like I said earlier, it's only about three or 400 meters long or so. So they're off their way to the uh, shrine with some apples and oranges. Over here, she's got some, uh, some of the food that she deep fries right there. So 35 baht for one of the little containers. And you have the, uh, the wicker purses, all of that. And then back here, they got a house. And you can see she's got like her little shrine back there with the, uh, the little lights and everything on it. And some more of the purses. It looks like they started like around 60 baht up to like 200 baht or so. So like a buck 50 or, or two dollars up to about seven dollars or so for some of those. And some more of the snacks. And then they have a little restaurant over here. Looks like they got some of the noodles, have some kapow, and then they have some fresh fruit and all that for sale. Yeah, it's looking like this part of the market's quite a bit busier over here. Just got some more of the noodles. Oh, almost got ran over by a bike. <laughs> and then she makes these like uh, little fish balls. So the back there's the paste, and she makes it, she deep fries it right there. These are not my favorite at all. The Thais love them, they eat them up, but I don't really enjoy these. And then I have some more. You guys selling lottery tickets here. Oh, and then you got some, uh, the Thai omelet. They have the uh, shrimp. And over there she's making like, uh, I don't know what she's making. She might be making like the uh, paseyu. And here we got a big, big vat. Of like the fish balls. And she's making up a little dessert right here. And then she's putting some over there. They put the little corn on it or the little nuts. Pork skin. And they even have a cat here. Yeah, the cat's found the perfect spot. <laughs> and they have the Chinese lanterns. The little toys, all the stuff. Back here is another little restaurant. Yeah, this is a cool little part of the market over here. I'm not sure what this is. It looks like it uh, has some rice. It has some of the mushroom and some of the other stuff on it. Yeah, it's uh, and they just steam it kind of like a salapau. Oh, that's kind of different. It's 40 baht is what it is. And here's some of the rice snacks with like the bananas and the red bean. And some more stuff over here and these are all closed up. Yeah, I think uh, it's kind of cool to see them dressed up with the Chinese New Year stuff, the Chinese costumes. But I think probably like a non-Chinese New Year day would be better because a lot of these people, I think, are off doing things for the Chinese New Year. It's probably why these are closed. And then we got some herbs. And we have some uh, music playing. This lady over here, she's selling something. I'm not sure what she's selling exactly there. Oh, it's the fish? Okay, and it's 35 baht for a little bag or three for a hundred. Okay, cop on a cop, she's got her little thing on her head. You can see she's dressed up <laughs> for the Chinese New Year. All right, here, they're making up some of the kanon uh, pan, the little bread, and they put the custard in it. They got the custard here, the pandarin, chocolate, foy tong. It looks like you can get one of the little ones for 20 baht. They look quite nice. Looks like they put a little butter on the outside, and then she's, uh, Deep frying something over there. I'm not sure what that is. It's what is that? Oh, the, oh, it's like she said. It's like a fish ravioli made from the fish. That's interesting. We got some leather products and uh, all of that. Yeah, and this lady here, she's uh, grilling up some of the banana. So the little goy young. I always like that. It's always a nice snack. And then she's got some mangoes. These ladies have probably been doing this for uh, 
50, 60 years or so. They <laughs> and some of the snacks, fish skin, all of that, bananas, oranges. Now these are actually oranges, but a lot of times in Thailand you'll see the oranges will be green. And some grapes. I'm not sure what this is, but it kind of looks like the Kanom Farang. Uh, what is this? Arai? No, uh, what is it? Chu Arai. Alai? Kanom Kai? Okay. Cup on a cap. That's yeah, uh, Kanom Kai. It's just kind of like a. Uh, it's just kind of like a little biscuit thing that you eat. And some uh, pineapple, coconuts. You can get some coconut, they'll cut it up right here for you. And then some more of the snacks. All right, these look quite nice here. She's got some of the little Chinese desserts there and some of these. And then this is like the flour that she mixes them up in. And got the, the whole family over there on the back picture. And then we have some more stuff here, the tamarind. I'm not sure what those are. I've had those before, but I can't remember the name of them. And then some peanuts. And she's cooking some stuff back there. And just the mystery pots. That looks so spicy. Ooh, look at all those chilies. And then a little deep fried little, uh, little shrimp and fish. And then uh, have some sun dried fish here. So you can uh, buy that by the kilo. And then this is all dried out. And these are like the little tiny dried like minnows. They put those in like some of their cooking. Oh, I haven't seen this in a while. This is like a long, like a, like a peanut. It's kind of like, a, like the inside of some of those candy, like a Butterfingers without the chocolate. And it's uh, quite nice, I actually enjoy this. It's, they call it the sweet peanut stick. And they make it up right here. It doesn't look like he has any ready or else I might buy some of that. And then there's some more of the bobbin. And we have a, Little restaurant over here. I think uh, making some som tam or something like that. And then we're right back over at the river. Okay, so it's 10 baht for like the little bag. Song. So I'll get some of this. You can see it's just a little peanut roll and they make it right here. It's a little dry, but I really like it. Like I said, it's like a Butterfinger without the chocolate. Okay, so that's the finished product for 10 baht each, which is a little bit more than a quarter. Let's give it a try. So here it is. Mm. <laughs> it just absolutely fell apart. Mm, that's good though. It's nice and warm, so it's freshly made. All right, I'll eat this. Let's look around just a little bit more on our way out of the market. So here, you can see they're uh, cooking up the fish. And you can order it up. Yeah, they love to eat the fish this way. They eat it just like that. They peel the skin back and they eat the whole fish. And just pull the bones right out after they've ate half of it, and then they they eat all the white meat. They even got their little dog dressed up for the Chinese New Year, little bulldog. All right, guys. So that's gonna finish up our video over here at the Ban Mai. 100 years market. This is quite nice. It's a, a cool little market. It's not overly huge. It's not super chaotic and busy. It is built on land. It's not a floating market, you know, even though it is right next to the, uh, right, right next to the river. So uh, <laughs> she's, the, the Farang lady, she's over here telling me that I can still eat the Farang if I want. That's funny. So uh, anyway, this is a nice little market. I've enjoyed it. It's, uh, it's pretty quaint and it's uh, not overly tourist. I like stuff like this. You get more of a authentic Thai feel and uh, the prices are reasonable and it's a good day. Now, if you want to get over here, you can take the train to Cha Chang Sao and then jump on a Song Tao and they can bring you over here to this, uh, this market. It's not too far away from downtown Cha Chang Sao. It, it, the main thing is just getting to this town from Bangkok and the train is an easy way. There's buses and all that, but I don't know how to take those. So anyway, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you click like. And if you have any questions or comments, if you've been here, leave me a comment down below. Tell me what you think. And if you want to do something different, let me know also. And uh, subscribe to my channel if you're new here. That's what I do. I just go walk around and I show you things that I see, tell you a little bit about what I know. So if you enjoy that, then stick around and then you're notified whenever I post a new video. And smash the like button. All that stuff helps me. So from over here at Ban Mai 100 Years Market, 
in Cha Ching Sao. Remember guys, life is a journey. Until next time, enjoy.